Welcome back to Let's Play Knights of the Old Republic with me, Get Daved. Sorry about the awkward pause there. My voice cracked when I did the intro. Welcome! <clears throat> Welcome. Yeah, I didn't feel very cool when I did that. Well, I didn't feel cool when I did either, actually. So let's go back and uh, talk about what makes me feel cool. Those robots look a bit like the dude from Portal 2. I actually get how the silk half talk stuck in my head a lot. Some Sith, eh? Hey? Not time to listen to your stories. Got a full shipment of Colto ready to load before my shift is over. Colto is back though. That's Got all you need to know. Colto ready to load before my shift is over. West Central Courtyard. It's pretty important. And the private hangar. You know what? We're gonna worry about that later because it may come up relevant to the plot. So I was doing a little thinking, because I kept flirting with the idea of doing like a real completionist playthrough or whatever. Pazak player over there. And uh, I've actually decided against it. Um, sorry to disappoint a lot of you. I'm sure a lot of you are like, oh. Hey, dude. Oh, the toll booth. Hi. Yeah. Capitalist pigs. There you go. Cheapskates. Anyway, well, hey, if I had a city like this. Also, since it's all floating on the water, and I believe it's like repulsor lift floating, not like buoyancy floating. I imagine that's pretty expensive to maintain, actually. I've mentioned frequently the Geno Haradin, or Gino Haradin, or G Biddles to their friends, uh, a side quest. Who loss, I believe, is right here, or around here anyway, but you have to come alone. Hey? Come alone or not at all. So. We could talk to people. The whole swoop racing circuit for this sector has been falling apart since the Sith bomb terrace. But there is swoop racing here. We may do that. Anyway, yeah, I was floating with the idea of whether or not to do a completionist playthrough of this and whether or not like to do the Jenna Horadin side quest and everything, but uh Save your empty threats, Sith scum. Malik isn't stupid enough to attack the core worlds. Now with the entire Republic fleet waiting for him. You're a fool. When the Sith descend on Coruscant, our numbers will block out the sun itself. The galactic senators will collapse trembling in fear and beg for mercy at Malak's feet. If you, you underestimate the Republic's resolve. We've got resolve. We surrender Coruscant. That can be arranged. Remember what happened to Taris. Malak could do the same to the core world. He could blow it up with a Death Star. Now it is you who underestimate our resolve. Yep. So Manon has a valuable resource called Colto, which is a healing liquid. And both, they're kind of like profiting off both sides of the war. Jerks. So... How much for all this stuff, Tybar? Chimi aita ka chonchicha. You're the best, dude. Catch you next week. So this guy's friendly to the Republic. Anyway, yeah. Manon, they're profiting selling the healing liquid to both parts. I imagine they're quite rich. Let's talk stuff. Hmm. Air attack, hey? Boss and stun stick. Why would I ever use this? Needler, kind of interesting. From Halo.
Little holdout blaster. Aww. He's got a lot of equipment. Strength gauntlets. Beam on package is pretty good. You gotta pay for it, but uh, constitution plus three. That's nothing to shake a stick at. I am severely tempted to buy it right now. Her. Carpe diem. This just in, it's more than 800 credits. Give me some hit points. So that bumps me up from 192 to 208. I like that. I like the cut of its jib is basically what I'm trying to say. Ah, there's Hulas. So yeah, if you don't have people with you, you can uh, talk to him and do a very fun side quest. I've decided not to do it because I see my primary role in this game, or in this LP, is not to show every aspect of the game. Because at a certain point, some of the side quests, I think, become detrimental to the main plot. Because, I don't know, Luke Skywalker didn't you know, get distracted with going hey, back to Tashi Station, station to pick up those only. power converters. Yeah, I survived Terrace, so that's kinda a moot point. I didn't even have a ship and I got off of there. With like, the best one. We might have a position within the Sith organization for one such as you. Your offer is pretty good. But I've heard some nasty things about you, Sith. Is it true you bombed Terrace into dust? This is war. In war, certain distasteful acts cannot be avoided. But ask yourself this. When we win this war, would you rather be against the Sith or with us? You make a good point. And I've never turned down a job that pays a front. Excellent. Report to the Sith Embassy tomorrow for your assignment. Did anyone else think this guy just confessed to prostitution? Anyway. Pay up front. He's never turned down any job. Ah, swoop racing. So yeah, you can talk to these guys. You can get these, uh, like, st well, useless items in your uh, inventory, basically, called swoop credits, or something like that. I forget the exact term. Anyway, you can then sell them, and I strongly recommend you sell them to our friend the Rodian at um, Yavin Station, because you can get a lot more money selling things to him. You got any armor plating for my swoop bike? I thought this garbage was free. You actually sell this junk? You fish are a strange breed. Shut up, British. Don't worry, junk man. When I want garbage, I'll be back. With an even thicker cock, thicker Cockney accent. Hey, I'm not. I'm not here to get in an argument. I understand you're stressed, buddy. Five percent off. Dried heavy plating, now we've got that. It's amazing. I mean, defense plus 11. But we're set on that one, so... Yeah, I don't think we... well... Yeah, I don't think we actually need any of this stuff, but it's pretty good looking. If you, uh, like to use two droids in your party, not that we know about a second droid yet, but if you like to, uh, you know, now would not be a bad time. So this is the Sith Embassy, the Republican Embassy... The Republic Embassy, pardon me. The Republican convention is being held at the other one, so we're going to go check it out. We'll be back here shortly.
And I'm not ripping you off like I was with the swoop racing thing where I was like, you just go race your own swoop bikes. We're pretty much guaranteed to be back there. I couldn't even persuade someone to give me a discount on the docking. Where am I going? On the docking fee, so I've done some casual exploration of Manan and now we'll waltz out. And yeah, I know I was doing all the side quests before this, or at least at least as many as I could, but uh yeah, I want to showcase the story in general, and you should play the game, because it's a good game. I've criticized it a little bit, and I will probably criticize it a fair bit more, but it is still... It still deserved every Game of the Year award it won, and it won a ton. So I'm very excited that I've talked so much about the Geno Haradin side quest, which is awesome, and haven't done it. I'm a tease. So, this pile of boxes is where all the Colto comes from. I think it's just generics to talk to. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Don't you know who I am? I suppose technically I don't at this point in the story, but whatever. I'm a scout! I've heard some people criticize Manon as a location, both that it's... Oh, here we go. I need your help. I'd left Kashik. I didn't. Nobody knew where you were, not even Sunri. But I heard the Selkath mention you and your friends. The Force has brought you to help us. Why? Whatever could be the matter, my dear? Oh, it's horrible, Jolie. Sunri has been arrested. The Sith have accused him of murder. Rotten. Murder? But how? It's all a mistake, Jolie. Sunri isn't a murderer. Someone is trying to frame him. Uh-oh. We're Sunri now. Sunri's, Sunri's totally a murderer. They won't let anyone in to see him. Please, go to the courts. Talk to the judges. Maybe the Selkaths will listen to you. Don't worry, Alora. We'll get to the bottom of this and help Sunri. Somehow. Gotta warn you, a lot of these situations end with me just killing everyone. So, a little cantina. Oh, yeah. If you talk to him, there's all sorts of stuff going around, going on in here. <laughs> I'll just keep it guarded, yeah. I mowed down a few of those. Now it's actually no pretty important that you do that. I know you have links to the Republic. I kill you. So one thing you'll discover walking around here is that there's a lot of people negotiating with mercenaries. So, do we have a deal? That's an awful lot of money. Is there something you're not telling me? Don't be so suspicious. The Republic is generous. We pay our mercenaries well. Exactly. You're not gonna get paid. All right, I'm in. When do I start? Just show up at the Republic Embassy tomorrow and speak to our representative there. 
I'm sure I'll have some task he wants you to start on right away. Just keep throwing bodies at the problem. That's how it works. The Republic respects the peace of Otto City, Your Honor. But the Sith are a violent people who leave violence in their wake. I have three soldiers in the infirmary. If the Republic soldiers were more capable, they would not have suffered such serious injuries. Are my soldiers to be punished simply because they won a fair fight? I don't know I if you're supposed to be fighting. Six against three, a fair fight. The Sith are cowards who attack only when they have the advantage of numbers. Strategically, a good idea. They were provoked, Your Honor. The Sith goaded them into this fight. That's what we call selfish, man. You guys are like the Swiss. They sure know how to make their money, though. Actually. Alright, uh, on that note, I'm going to end the video here. Next time, uh, I think we might get to some action next time. We'll find out. You'll have to watch it. I'll see you there.